Switch out live to Patrick Healy. He's at the airport with what he's learned about travelers and screeners who have the virus. Patrick. Well, Chuck and Carolyn, a couple of developments today. We learned that there was another uh, screener here at the airport specifically dedicated to trying to identify coronavirus cases. He himself has been identified with the illness. We got information from LA County Public Health that they believe that this, there is a relation to the other screener who was identified earlier in the week on uh, late Tuesday and that they believe it was exposure to an infected passenger. They're investigating who they've been in contact with, but they do not believe that there's been any public exposure at this point. Now, there was another new case identified today at LAX. This was another case, the seventh case, of a traveler part of that same group returning from a trip to northern Italy. And then the final case from LAX, that dates back to January. That was a traveler who came from China. Patrick, at this point, what is LAX doing now to really try to keep things clean at the airport? Well, they're basically common sense measures, and the airport held a briefing today to emphasize what it's doing. For one thing, it has put out 350 sanitizer stations, basically bottles of Purell, so the travelers going through the airport can clean their hands. It's going to put out another 300 in the coming week. It is also directed at sanitation crews to do deep cleaning of the restrooms every hour and is also asking them to focus on what they call high touch areas like the rails of stairwells and escalators and even the buttons of elevators to get them clean. But bear in mind, the airport does not have control of everything. The airlines control the cleaning of the airplanes themselves. And of course, federal officials control that customs area where all the foreign travelers come in. Well, Patrick, it may just be the time of day, but I don't see a lot of people down there. How is it impacting business at LAX? Well, this is the lull time, but Chuck, you've hit on a big issue. Air travel is down. According to the airport's officials, for the first week of this month, March, it's down 5%. But listen to this. According to TA's, uh, TSA's figures, yesterday, the number of passengers they screened for security was down 20%. That is enormous. And if that is not just a one day but a trend, that indicates the concerns for travel have gone beyond China and South Korea and Japan and Northern Italy. It's affecting domestic travel as well. People are just leery of traveling now. And this is going to have an enormous financial impact. The airport's uh, interim CEO, Justin Urbach, told us today that Urbachi told us that they are looking at ways to cut costs. They are going to defer expenses. They're limiting overtime. They're freezing hiring, except what is essential. They're asking the units for looking at other ways to cut costs. So far, again, only a handful of confirmed cases here in Los Angeles, but the financial impact is already enormous.